What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to discuss Vital's Advanced Unison Modes. So a lot of people don't know about these because they're actually hidden away under the Advanced menu. That being said, is you can actually achieve such cool things using these techniques. Let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so like I said, the Advanced Unison settings are hidden under the Advanced tab over here. They don't actually show until you actually enable the unison by setting more than one voice. So I quickly want to run through how these unison settings work, um, just so you can kind of get a little bit better of an understanding um, so that you can create these interesting chords and stuff like that using this. So first things first, I just want to set this to unison of two voices and we can set this up to 100%. So traditionally this would sound really detuned. But there's some settings over here in the advanced tab which we can actually fine tune to get some really, really nice results. So the detune range, this over here, this basically determines how much that uh, unison amount from zero to 100% detunes the signal. So if we set this to zero, we immediately get two voices that are pitched exactly the same left and right channels. So we get a nice wide sound without the detune effect, which is pretty cool. On top of that, there's some various like settings over here, which we can use to take advantage of some of the oscillation modes in Vital. For example, here we've got the phase disperse mode. If we enable this, jump back to the advanced settings. For these to work properly, we'd actually have to choose more than two voices. So let's say for example, eight voices or so. And now what we can do is we can use this spread control, the spec to spread. And what this does is this basically changes this parameter over the unison spread. So if we set this to 0%, jump back to the advanced, you'll see how it's got this really, really handy visualization of how it's kind of changing that phase disperse mode across that unison spectrum, which is really, really cool. Check this out. So that's a nice huge sound just, you know, with a simple saw wave uh, and, you know, using this unison mode to change this like phase disperse setting across the different unison voices that we're spreading. So this is expandable to the distortion modes like the FM mode as well as the uh, wavetable position. So if we go over here and we select something like, um, I'm going to just use one of these side tables bank from uh, made by Dada. These are a collection of really, really good wavetables. So let's just select one of these and then we can jump over to the wavetable mode and we can change the table spread over the unison as well. Like I said, it's expandable as well to like the FM modes. So here, let's for example, I'm not going to go FM because this is uh, this wavetable is already consisting of like an FM sound. So it's going to get a little bit uh, garbly if we're using the FMs. But just to show you kind of how this works, uh, let's say go with like the bend. Um, this is capable of some pretty interesting stuff. And then here we can change the distortion spread. So again, this spreads the a parameter across the different unison voices. So just to make this more of a kind of lead sound, let's just make it a single voice and give it some legato with a little bit of glide. And then I want to go into the effects and just apply a couple of effects like some light chorus. Let's freeze it, change the EQ on this, uh, a bit of delay as well. Same with the EQ. Let's just change this to a one over eight dotted, change this to ping pong, and then maybe a bit of reverb as well. So we are only scraping the surface here in terms of the sound design capabilities of the advanced unison modes in Vital. This stack modes here, 
this is insane because we can create chords power chords like octaving things weird harmonic stuff this is where it gets truly interesting um is, is trying out these different modes so power chord is really cool for getting these kind of like uh electro -y, uh it, it's a power chord like a guitar um but it's different to something like a major or minor chord because i believe it works in both examples um, i may be wrong but this is really cool because you can instantly get like a huge like cutting sound without having to worry about whether the chord is going to fit into a major or minor again i'm not like the music theory expert but power chords are just like versatile like that i believe so let's try out a couple of these different modes so for those who don't know what unison means is two voices or two things playing at the same pitch so the unison stack setting basically defaults everything at the same pitch, except when you're using this detune range. When you use these other settings, say for example, center drop 12, the center voice is at the root note. And then I believe anything below that voice or anything to the one side of that voice gets detuned and anything to the other side of that voice gets tuned up by an octave. So you see the problem when using like the minor or major chord unison modes is they're very specific as to the notes that they choose. So you can pretty much only use the root note or the fifth of the scale when you're wanting to use these kinds of things. Otherwise they won't really fit. So for the melodic kind of stuff, power chords work really well. Um, a little thing with like um, guitars is power chords is like the easy trick to get like any riff to kind of work with anything, I believe. Um, again, I'm not the guitarist or the music theory expert. But anyway, uh, let's just check out some of these harmonics and odd harmonics modes. These are a little bit more ex experimental. So those have this weird like um like especially the art harmonics add this weird brightness this is really cool for like pads and that kind of thing or even if you modulate this detune range to create like really weird sound effects it's, it's really cool so anyway the power chords thing this sometimes gets a little bit complex uh it doesn't sound too amazing when we're using it with like quite complex source sounds but if let's just say for example initialize this preset um Let's play around with those unison modes again. So let's just set this up to a couple of voices, up to 100%. I'm going to leave the spectral spreads, distortion spreads, and table spreads for now. Let's just concentrate on creating like cool like chord type things, which we can use to create like a rhythmic, uh, almost like a guitar type sound in the track.
that sounds really cool. And notice how it's just a single finger that's triggering these chords. And it just kind of always works when you play these melodic lines. So it's a nice way of fattening up your synths without having to know too much about like music theory and that kind of thing. You're just creating this like chord like sound. So let's go ahead and uh, play around a little bit with the sound design here. Let's uh, distort this a little bit. But I also want to create like a filter to almost simulate a pluck like sound. So let's use an envelope on this and let's just turn, turn the sustain down. That distortion isn't quite enough. I'm trying to go for something brutal. Let's try out, I don't know if you guys know Cytomic the Scream. This is actually a replica of the Ibanez Tube Screamer pedal, which was synonymous for brutal overdrive effect. And it was also kind of like well known because of all the modifications that you can do on it. So this thing is crazy because you can actually modify the specific components in the circuit board. I don't know how they model this, but there's like, for example, the different types of diodes you can go and change and all sorts of stuff. So you can customize this. You know, if you have a particular type of customization that you know you, people did on the Tube Screamer pedals, you can do that on here. Anyway, I just like to turn it on, turn up the drive, then change with these like voltage and bias settings. And yeah, let's just play around a bit with this. <laughs> That is insane. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm going to save this preset for my Patreons, but you guys aren't going to have that distortion thing built in there. However, I'm sure you guys have your own distortions or use Snap Heap uh, and just stack up a bunch of the distortions in there and just see what works. Anyway, let's just call this Vital Guitar Power Chord. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Awesome, that is about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you already use these kind of advanced unison modes in Vital, let me know in the comments how you guys use them. It'd be interesting to know kind of different sound design techniques. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. As always, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. See you guys next time. Cheers.